Happy New Year! COVID-19 and low interest rates. That's what real estate was all about during 2021. I'm David Stark and welcome to a special edition of the East Bay Real Estate Weather Report. Looking back at 2021, the COVID-19 pandemic had a massive impact on buyers and sellers in the East Bay. Let's start with sellers. For most of 2021, they stayed home. Whether it was the ability to work remotely, which made their current home more attractive, or limited home buying options for themselves, the supply of homes for sale was at a four-year low in the East Bay during 2021. Meanwhile, the thousands of potential home buyers who were sidelined during 2020 because of COVID-19, who weren't going on vacation or out to dinner, but were saving their money, they were ready for home ownership, specifically in the East Bay during 2021. What happened when low supply met high demand? Record setting prices. The median sales price for a single family detached home in the East Bay during 2021 was more than 1.1 million, a 23% increase compared with 2020. How did buyers respond to these prices? This is where low interest rates come in. Even with historically high prices, relatively low mortgage interest rates made home ownership viable for a lot of buyers during 2021. In fact, home sales were at a six year high. How is this possible? Remember, COVID-19 created a timeout for real estate activity early in 2020. While the pandemic continued during 2021, there wasn't that same pause in home sales. Buyers had the entire year to work with. They entered the market early and stayed late. Once they were in the market, competitive offers were accepted quickly. A home was on the market in East Bay on average just 17 days. That's a four year low. Another way to look at 2021 for buyers and sellers is that COVID-19 supercharged demand for home ownership in the East Bay, while low interest rates allowed some buyers to roll with it and become homeowners. What didn't happen during 2021 was a big drop in sales activity, a big drop in pending sales, or a big increase in days on market. And that meant market conditions were sustainable. So what's gonna happen during 2022? As long as there continues to be a jobs housing imbalance in the San Francisco Bay Area, as long as the economy remains strong, and as long as interest rates remain low, we'll have another year of low inventory, high prices, and buyers needing to be ready to compete. Next month, we'll see how 2022 is treating our local East Bay real estate markets. Until then, stay healthy.